That is exactly what happens. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Oh my gosh, happy Monday. We're giggling because uh, do you guys ever like have a fantastic weekend where you're just kind of like remembering bits and pieces of it? You're like, wow, mm. that was that was fun. That was epic. That was, <laughs> that was fun. And then there's of course those certain things for um, every weekend that you, you like do. Like a routine? A routine to keep yeah. you grounded. Or to keep you motivated for the next week. Gosh, that's true. <laughs> well, and especially this weekend, it's just so, we packed so many things in this weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> because, Good morning, Phyllis. <laughs> because <laughs> Thanksgiving week. Turkey day. I know. Turkey day. Turkey day. You'll have to tell them. So it's Thanksgiving week for us. Yes. But what is turkey day? Because I learned this years ago whenever you explained I know. the difference to Well, me. and this is what I love about, again, kind of like everyone kind of getting together from different backgrounds and different experiences. And for those of that you don't know, I'm a half Native American. Half Choctaw, uh, Chetta, Chetta Sia Hoke is how we say it. Uh, I know. <laughs> so a lot of times my girlfriends always say like, so what do you do on Thanksgiving? And it's interesting is because our family, we don't necessarily celebrate the, what people may have read in the books of mm -hmm. a traditional Thanksgiving. We see it a little differently. Mm -hmm. Which I love. Yes. yes. And yes. I think what the, kind of the, the entire emotion about it, I think, for thanks for for Turkey Day, is about celebrating uh, all relations mm -hmm. and celebrating friendships. And it's the time that, for our country, for sure, you know, everything is shut down. So it gives our family an opportunity to all get together and reconnect. Which is which is crazy because it's what everybody does mm -hmm. essentially. Is it's like if you, or you hope to do is to gather with people you love. Yes. And I'm not even a turkey person. Oh, so that's right. Thanksgiving is like to me. I always think turkey. Yes. So I'm like. Oh, Let's just go ahead and celebrate Christmas. You know, yes. I'm thankful, but let's just get on to Christmas. I'm not, a <laughs> I'm not a turkey like the dinner food. Sure. No, I, I mean, well, Chandra I'm, asked, "What would you get rid of, or what was what's the one food you wouldn't have?" Remember last year she asked us that. Yes. And we we spent Thanksgiving last year together. We did. Like I Friendsgiving, know. I love I'm, it. That's that's the other part. Or of Turkey the, Day. The Turkey, turkey Day. Turkey Day. But I I promise you, I'm just not. I, it's the the stuffing, the corn, the turkey, the biscuits. Mm -hmm. It's just not me. No, no. I'm, what's your no. what's your favorite side dish? Mm. Really? I don't know. The best of hard boils. Oh, hard, hard boils. boils. Oh, the hard deviled boils. eggs. That's it. The deviled eggs. The deviled deviled yeah. eggs. Um, the pickle tray. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> the pickle tray. See, no. but I think you're more like me. Yeah. We like the salty, yes. sour yes. pickles. I mean, I just buy like a little uh, pickled corns. Yes. Just so I can eat the I, corns. I, I do. <laughs> That I is, just got some. Did you really? Yes, I, I have them too. in. What are they called? I pop them in like like pepper, or corn. What, they have a special name. They do. I'm the pickle tray this year. So I, <laughs> that's who. Okay. That's what that's I am. Really? <laughs> yes. Of course you are. And I need deviled eggs. Yes. Deviled, no, I. I mean, I like a fried turkey. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. It's. It's definitely one of the holidays that I'm not a huge. Like, it's not my meal. I've seen that. That deep fried turkey. Oh, Tim does a my awesome goodness. One. Yeah. Some of my friends back, I say, some of my friends back in back Texas. Yeah, it's a Texas, Texas thing. thing. Too. Yeah. Every time they show me their spread yeah. of their things, oh, and it's my. beautiful. Gosh, I do. I I'm know. just like, wow. And I'm like, next yeah. time, can I get an invite? I okay. know. Because I'm, I'm one of those that, which is great. I love about, you know, because sometimes not everyone has family to, right. to go to or be with. But when people really take advantage of the time, as just with, because friends are become your family. Absolutely. I That's, love that. Especially for us being that we're from Texas. And mm -hmm. You create your own family wherever yes. you, and you know, we're both lucky enough to have our moms here. But, I know. Thank goodness. I mean, yeah. But it's true. It's like you, what it, your friends become your family. Mm -hmm. Your chosen family. Your chosen family. And I try to tell my kids that all the time. Mm -hmm. that it's not, I mean, because I, I grew up having all my cousins, mm -hmm. really huge Thanksgiving. And now, I mean, it's our family, you know, and if we travel and get to be with a little bit of the family, it's great. But you don't, we don't have that big gathering. Right. But I always tell them, you, your friends that you choose, this mm -hmm. is why you have to value people so much because really that's where you spend most of your time. And then it's so special when you do get to see your family. Agree, friends yes. need to be super special. Keep those super special close to you. Well, and for myself, I grew up in a, a divorced family. Mm -hmm. So since I was seven years old, it's always been my mom, my sister, and I. Right. And of course, then my dad is that other side. But it, we were always, you know, kind of in transition. There wasn't mm -hmm. really an actual routine. Mm -hmm. So I think how people begin to kind of like cope or how they figure out kind of what works for their family because sometimes you can see on social media where there's these like again like a perfect gathering mm -hmm. and these people are all around and you can feel very isolated mm -hmm. and alone because like I don't have that I don't have that, I don't have that. and yeah. can see how social media can really if anything kind of hinder you mm -hmm. of really enjoying the holidays as opposed to 
to really be a happy time. To be a happy time. Yeah. So I think that's what we love so much about it is that coming from just different perspectives, but mm -hmm. also being able to communicate with so many women around the globe every single day, mm -hmm. and what we hear kind of what their needs are and what their struggles are. And that's right. what I like about what we even wrote today. If you guys are not over in our private Facebook community, Girls Off The Grid, let us know. We'll want to add you guys to it. Yes. So much fun it. over there. <laughs> but it's one of those things. It's like, what do you think about for the holidays? And that's when we said, yeah. like, kiss for the holidays. Like, but what, is this, what does kiss stand for? I know. Maybe. I know. You do. You can say it. <laughs> you can say it. You can say it. I need to put this Go over. Go Oh, you want to put that in there real quick? Yes. Okay. So this is where, but KISS stands for Keep It Simple Sis. I love that. In every aspect of life. That's simple. true. Keep, simple. It simple. Keep it simple. We, Keep it simple. It's so easy to complicate things. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to, oh gosh, even like for myself, I'll get on some tangent, like something mm -hmm. didn't go right. And instead of really kind of spiraling in the positive way, I'll start thinking like, oh, the coulda, woulda, shoulda. It's like, yes. why did I do that? Ooh, I could have done this. That mm -hmm. would have been better. But it's again, it's kind of like, what can we do? We've worked so hard all year long, yes. trying to stay on task, mm -hmm. staying motivated. We all have our year end goals. We're all of us in our, <laughs> in our lifestyle coaching, our business coaching. We have these goals and we're coming up, we call it Q4, quarter mm -hmm. four. I, and, and it gets hard. It does. Yes. During this time, it really does. It does. And so it's like, what can you do on a daily basis to mm -hmm. keep Kind of, kind of keeping your mojo. It's kind of keeping you happy, keeping yep. your your emotions Focusing. high. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And tuning out the the, the static. Yes. I, I mean, I even tell the kids that all the time. It's like I like a simple home. Mm -hmm. I don't like a lot of clutter, and I feel like it makes me feel like I need to work on the clutter versus just focus on sitting down with my kids. Like mm. just keeping, like keep it simple. Let's put the toys away. Let's, yeah. Let's spend time together. You know, it's like I I like easy simple things I don't like complicated and I think around the holidays it's really easy to get caught up in how much there is to do and how much you need you feel you have to do mm -hmm. to make everybody happy sure how much how many things you have to buy I think it's the things you have to buy yeah you know and yeah. I, I feel that pressure mm -hmm. I feel like there's what and then what is the actual number yeah and I think someone even asked and mm -hmm. there was a well I'm also part of a little community a little group it's called well Bryan County down in Durant yeah but it's Bryan County moms and someone asked like as a, and I never even thought about it but one of the questions was what is your average spend per child or per person Ooh, for Christmas. What was the answer? Well, there was a plethora of answers. Oh. Everyone, it varied. Yeah. And I was, I found it interesting to see like, what did people really think? Because in my yeah. mind, I know I'm thinking, okay, like for Sophie, like, okay, I know she really wants shirts, you know. Jacket, yeah, shoes, shoes. All that that. I know. Does she, and then like little things, and then mm -hmm. for the stocking stuffers, and you know, yeah. well, to help Santa with the yeah. stocking stuffers, of course, mm -hmm. helping him mm -hmm. do those. Uh, <laughs> what other people found of value and I think you know we always feel like but you know it's all about a warm heart and a warm you know and a, and a healthy and happy environment for your children that should be what Christmas is about and that's mm -hmm. absolutely accurate and so yes. true but it's nice to hear also that people what I found to be like the common thread through mm -hmm. all of it is that no one was over the top yeah people really did I think people took into account how COVID really affected us this past year yeah. and that our time together Isn't was viable. right Mm -hmm. There was so much more quality in that time when before it was just like rallying off. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe they need this or they need the Xbox or all these other things. But then they realized at the end of the day, it's about our health and it's about our of our family. Yes. That really mattered the most. Right. You know, we decided in our family not to do gifts with the cousins. Okay. Because of the time that we're going to spend together at Thanksgiving. We oh. told all the kids our gift this year is us being together. We're traveling and they were, I mean, they were great. Really I love that. Oh, okay. okay. I, I would I much mean, rather do a trip as mm -hmm. a gift yeah. than all of like the little things, you yeah. know, because those are little things that I'll I'm be able to pick up. Person. I don't. I, I mean, I, and I obviously love to have something nice. I'm not, right. but I would honest, it makes me feel, I don't know. It's like, I know I don't need that. I, right. I have this level of guilt about that. I, I don't know. It's always been mm. like my thing, just like you, mm -hmm. it's like just being together and yes. And, yeah, and I love a note. Mm -hmm. I love words. Yeah, you're a big card person. Yes, I love big that. Big card person. But that's what stays with people. That's true. And I think that's why I love our stuff so much. Yeah. Because words matter. They do you matter. Know? Oh my yeah. goodness, yes. No, I completely agree, and I love that about you. And that's when, too, I know, because there are a lot of times I'll spend time with you, mm -hmm. and we like do things, and we're, again, kind of like the daily minutiae of everything that we do. But I know when I write a card, you're actually going to read it. 
Oh, and keep and it. You'll, and keep it. Mm -hmm. And you'll take the words, because a lot of times things get kind of lost. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you'll say something in passing by like, hey, I really appreciate you. And maybe the person felt it or not, mm -hmm. but that's one thing whenever it's written down, it oh. took the time and energy to write it, to think it, yeah. to write it, and then to gift it. And those really matter. Oh, in 10 years, mm -hmm. I will not be able to tell you what you gave me for my birthday, mm -hmm. but I will remember and see and the card Yes. or something that somebody you know, something I could put on my counter. I keep things like in my Bible or in a notebook or my mm -hmm. planner. And I'll look back at them throughout the year. And it's like, I remember from the word. I remember from the effort of that. That right. is what matters. Well, I think that's why you, I mean, it, it was kind of your brain baby of implementing the thank you cards and all of our gifts whenever oh, they purchase. I know. Because I want somebody to feel us. Like yes. to feel that yeah. we're cheering for you. Yeah. You know, but I love how enough. you put your, your love language and then you put it in each one of our packages that we mail out. Mm -hmm. I, I may, that. and of course, my love language, as everyone <laughs> knows, I love what, wrapping. So I'm the one that when folds and puts the really pretty wrap. When you, yes, when you receive I'm sorry, I'm working on your theotgwarrior.com gifts, <laughs> they are all wrapped by moi. And I love it. I get so but excited. Moi. It's so exciting. And Jordan even knows too. She'll even grab it and like grab a bag. And I just kind of look at her. I can feel her energy, okay? I just kind of look at her like, Jay, you know this is my love language. This is how I give love. I love folding. Laundry is, it's my gig. It's my gig. This is not good news. This is, I know, I love laundry. In fact, I love laundry so much. I think if you guys, we've shared this story. I I haven't even have an LLC. It's called So Fresh. You know, daughter Sophie. So it's S-O-P-H-R-E-S-H. So Fresh. So Fresh. And I want it, I did. I want to have a commercial. So Fresh and so clean. Clean. So Fresh and so clean. I want to have a laundry surface. So Fresh. And then I could, well, well, actually, what it really was, it was a nonprofit yes. business, and I felt that I would love to go into, because we're in from Oklahoma, yep. and we have, I mean, if you don't like the weather, stay a day, because it <laughs> will, a few hours. I know, it will change. You will go through your spring, summer, winter, and fall outfits all in one day. All in one day. So never, you can't. I have my vest on from this morning, and now I'm going, oh, what's toast? Well, that's what I'm saying. We'll that's what I don't understand. I see these movies where they're like, hey, I'm putting my winter clothes up for the, in the, oh, in the attic. What? That's <laughs> Or that goes to the top. Huh? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I might need that in the summer. Oh no, I have my flip my, my booties, I put my, 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 my sarongs and my flip flops in the same line. Literally. So, Practice at night might be 100 degrees. Absolutely. Morning might be 40. It is. You it's never dewy, know. It's cold. <laughs> Oh my gosh, welcome to Oklahoma. Did we sell you? Did we sell you on Oklahoma? Who's coming? <laughs> Texas is so similar. Oh my gosh. It is. I mean, oh man, we can sure You're sell really it. Off the I best. know. <laughs> but that was the oh thing, is gosh. because the weather was so bad. Yes. And we'd always have tornadoes. And what I noticed is that people would, when there would be a, a, a natural disaster, people immediately said, hey, we need canned food and we need clothing. We want to get it to these, these areas that are affected. Well, then I started to think, why would you send all the clothing and food down there? Who's washing these clothes? Because it hit me whenever it's so fresh and so clean. So, so fresh and so clean, because I would go to, and it hit That's me from you. the front. <laughs> so sorry. Right, all aboard. I, I, I swear, I see her driving a big truck with a, tra <laughs> yeah, a trailer with all washer and dryers on it. Like, okay, this Seriously. is the greatest thing. I know, I'm doing with it. With a generator or something <laughs> to plug them into, right? I mean... <laughs> we know there's no plug-in. <laughs> no, like, right? There, you have to, that's right, the generator. Ooh, Ooh see? Detail. Detail. Detail sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Jay, uh, thank you. It's because I'm married. I was, I was gonna I was, say, <laughs> do you want to be in this business with me? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we should just tack it Next on. challenge, I know. OTG. <laughs> we get on the road. <laughs> These war warriors were laundry warriors. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, the other day we were, <laughs> We were wrapping these packages. Laundry warriors. <laughs> That's what we think. Huh, and we'd be happy. I mean, we, should, we, we'd be happy we would. Be I was. So we were at the counter wrapping all these things for yes. the Miss America pageant. Yes. I can. Miss USA. Miss USA. Yes. I'm sorry. Miss USA. I'm sitting there and I'm folding and I could feel her kind of. And I was like. <laughs> and finally I just. And I said, I'm going to go get the car. <laughs> I saw it was like, it was like that gif when he's like, like all this, all the paperwork, Here. all the paperwork. You like just took the shirt and like, I mean, wrapped it up uh, and set it down. I was like, <laughs> that's her gift. Because I was just, I was just like, I was like, I know.
without <laughs> saying a word because she would never be rude. It was just like, mm -mm. So I let her know it's okay. I can. I, I can love do you, it. but I'm gonna redo it's that. Okay. It's okay. I don't do it. <laughs> no problem. No, you write the thank you, you notes. Write me. You go there. Okay. See, so we we have our duties. I love that. But again, that's routine. knowing about your friends. It is. It yes. is appreciating. Absolutely. Thank you, Deborah. That's so sweet. Hi, you guys. Oh, I know. Gosh. Oh, I can finally finally see you guys. I know. Hi, this Jamie. is so funny. We are. Hi, Liz. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's funny. Sometimes you can see, I'm not sure if you guys have ever gone live before on the social media, but sometimes you can see people and sometimes you can't. <laughs> sometimes we're just sitting sometimes here talking to ourselves gone. the whole time. I'm like, yes. Oh. Okay, here we go, girls. Hold on, we're kind of moving here. Hola. Okay, we were going to share <laughs> something real quick, what we shared over in our... It's not like us today, is it? In our Girls Off the Grid group, because we're talking about, about keeping it... Let's just stay like this. <laughs> We just lean. We just lean. We can we lean, lean like this? <laughs> That's your good side. Oh, I, know. I need my. <laughs> we just you gotta go with the flow. Side. We, we, we're gonna, we're gonna, Leaning. We're, this is like life. We're gonna. We're we supposed to be here, but it's it is so true. It's kind of over here today. Oh my goodness. Well, real quick, as I'm trying to find this, Jay, are you guys leaving town? Oh yes, we are going to Houston. Houston for Thanksgiving this year. We're gonna go with Tim. All right, see Tim's side family. Oh yes, they're so excited. Oh my gosh, I know. we only get to see each other a couple times a year, so it's so special. Oh gosh, that's yeah. gonna be so It'll be fun, much and fun. I'm the pickle pickle tray. Super simple since I'm flying in. Oh, good. I get I get the civil jobs, and I'm gonna make the deviled eggs. Um, but we're excited, so we're doing that. And then you know what I've done? I've what? finished all of my Christmas shopping. What? I'm done. I kept. We talk about simple. We kept it simple. Oh we decided gosh, we're not doing gifts with cousins. That just made me sweat. Well, I'm now. I was sweating. like, I just wanted to be. Tim and I are not doing gifts this year. We're gonna write cut cards to each other. Are you serious? I'm serious. And we are. We're keeping it simple. So. Oh my gosh. Do I told I mean? the kids we're gonna make some things for some people mm -hmm. and deliver them and do like the act of kindness and all that. And then the kids gave me their exact list and Santa got his list and so. I kept it simple. You I, just, I wanted to just get it done, and that way I could really be present next month, and that way I'm Well, not. I am completely, completely <laughs> blown away. I'm serious. I, I now have, now I'm stressed. I wasn't no, stressed no, until no, you said that. I, don't be stressed. And my mom and I, are, I mean, I was telling her the other day, I said, I, I, I don't know where, where I was at, but I was picking up some wrapping stuff, mm -hmm. and I said, I'm, she goes, are you serious? You need to quit stressing. I said, I'm not stressing. I really just, I want it to be done, so I'm not, because with the three of them wanting- yes. They're pretty specific, you know, and I'm like, okay. And so I talked to them about the value of what they picked. And wow. as you get older, you know, it's yes. not the same as getting a little Lego set versus getting a pair of boots or getting hunting stuff. Or, sure. Yeah. So I finished it up. Jordan. I know. Shoot. Can so, you? Can you? <laughs> can I you did. I've never done that. This? I've, I've yeah. never had it done this early. Oh my ever. gosh. We need, Sophie and I need to come over and you need to teach us what we're, we're all of us. I know. As friends, family, what we're doing yes. as a, as a friends family this season. <laughs> this you, is why I posted this, this thing in my stories. That will said, you please? No, I'm sorry. What kind of will rapper you are you? <laughs> are you a vet? And I think of you when I I was rapping the yes. couple and I was like, I could have started over and I just went and put the tape down. I was like, they're just gonna open it real quick. Why do I think of that? I think of when I think of your wrapping in a beautiful, because it's still wrapped and it's done with love. But I think of like when just like trying to wrap a soccer ball. Oh, it's you know just what I mean? Crunch it. like, I just crunch it around the side. Yeah, and that, make that, a little, that, remember when you were kids and somebody would just take it and bunch it at the top and then put a big bow on top? Or you wrap happening. it with the tape around like that and just get it squeezed. You'll see what I put up with. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> okay. No, I put in my stories this morning. What kind of wrapper are you? Do you actually wrap with wrapping paper yes. or a bag? And oh. I will say, I did the mix this year. Okay. But if I'm not just whoo, woo saw, uh -huh. and nothing else going on, I don't necessarily enjoy wrapping with no. wrapping paper. No. Because there's just, I'm trying to get it done. Yes. There's a lot of it, and so I'm just kind of hurrying, and That's I love true. the bag. But then the bag, the kids don't love as much on Christmas morning because it's just like, pop, there it is. I know. You yeah. know? I see. I don't, I don't know if I ever really do a bag. I do a bag maybe if it's, well, I'll tell you when I do a bag. I do a bag when we're going to a birthday party in 20 minutes yes. and I had to run by Target real quick. Yes. That's when I'm a bag person. That is absolutely, Sophie's a bag person for sure. So what you're too. telling me is I'm going to be giving you bag presents <laughs> so from now on. So when you see me with a bag, you know I just, just got, got it. <laughs> Best idea is for gifts, y'all. Let me just tell I you. I just told her. No! We know terrible. she just ran by there. She forgot. 
Damn. She totally forgot your birthday. I'm gonna start doing that. Oh my too. gosh. She totally forgot. Y'all see her back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I just gave my secret. No, okay, so here's one of my secrets. Okay. One of my secrets is I will go and buy five of something uh -huh. that I think multiple people will love, like Taylor's friends, for mm -hmm. example. I went and got five of the same thing, knowing they had birthdays over, you know, two months. And that way when it came, I wasn't adding it to the list after soccer game, before the birthday part, like the whole run around thing. Yes. And then all of her little girlfriends ended up with the same thing and they loved yes. it. Yes. Oh so, my goodness. Like, learning to simplify. I did that things. when Sophie was younger. Yes, I love maybe, that. Maybe because of Tay's age. Yeah. Because it was. It was like that one thing. I would go to Kittlesticks. If you guys ever in Tulsa, mm -hmm. that is like the fun Huge. place store. To, for the toy store, Kittlesticks. Yes. And Harvard. Learning Express too. Yes. Oh, out South. So cute. So at South Learning Express, mm -hmm. if you're in Midtown, go to Kittlesticks. They yes. are, there's such unique crisp yes. presents. Lots of STEM gifts. Yes. Neat things you don't necessarily see. No, oh, you'll never see box. it. You won't see that at big box stores. Yeah. So it's really, really, I love these. Yes. And plus they wrap them for you. That's the best part. Isn't that the best so part? So like 10 of my gifts were wrapped. Right, it's already done. A lot of them were bagged. Okay. I'm just kidding. It was like a bag and a little tie on the top, like it's a cellophane. So, it was so cute though. I love that. It was that. cute. It was cute. So those are compliments. I love that. The, the compliment. Keeping it simple. Keep it simple. simple sis. Yes. See? And we do the same thing with our stuff. It comes wrapped and it you does. are ready to just put a bow on that baby. And to give it. Yes. Because it comes with, not only with our article of clothing, mm -hmm. but also a message inside mm -hmm. stating who we are and just as that reminder for each person to remember how awesome and warrior they, they are, are inside so we're going to share what, with you guys are you trying to fix it so i'm going to try to fix it and what i love about it is it's a ah. gift that they will remember because they will wear it hey. over and over and over hi sandy oh but there's a gift that you keep wearing that like is a sweatshirt i mean oh i love it well i love our things too Good because feeling. not only are they super soft and it's yeah. a great message but they're also thin and i yeah. love layering when we wear it all year yes what was it? Someone said sweater weather, and then someone someone wrote, me. but no one said, they said it's leather weather. <laughs> <laughs> leather weather. I put sweater weather somewhere, and you commented, you were like, okay. No, I did. It is. I love sweater weather. I love sweater weather. Because I'm always. We love vests, too. <laughs> no. It would remind <laughs> Okay, and I don't mean to digress. I'm going to laugh about one moment. We're talking no, about vests no. and how much we love it. Do you ever did you ever see that Britney Spears gif where it's talking about it's you know it's still fall but it's too hot to be wearing your fall clothes but you want to be wearing your fall clothes because they're so cute it's anyway and you're, and you're like sweating underneath no. it you've never seen that no. she's like you, there's like this gif and there's like beads like sweat <laughs> but she looks super cute because she's wearing her fall outfit that's how I feel because like I still want to look cute I want to look cute. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look like cute, but I, I wanna, mm. yeah, but it's, but it's too hot. Too it's hot too to hot. My fall things. Not well, I put my little Ugg booties on this morning when I was cold, and now I'm, I'm sweating. It gets a little, little warm. I know. I turned the fireplace off and everything. Hi, Sandy. We're okay, so well, glad you're here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect timing. Going. You have to hear this. Yes. So I think this is what we were sharing. Let's see what we were sharing earlier today, because a lot of times we try to stay on task. Yes. Never mind our lives. <laughs> We're, squirrel. We're total squirrel. But I think, you know what I mean? It's the yes. serotonin releases. It is. We you got to laugh, y'all. You have to laugh through life. Oh, gosh. And especially during holiday season. Mm -hmm. This could be one of those crucial moments. And mm -hmm. you know what I did? I will say on a sidebar here, what they have found in... Uh, again, kind of like with family and why I feel it's so important to keep your friends close and to really encourage that is because did you know that Christmas and Thanksgiving, uh, those holidays are the most, they're like the most busy in, um, in gay clubs. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because their families are unaccepting of them, so mm -hmm. that's where they, it's like the one place where they can go for other people that are like-minded. And when I think of things like that, of whatever it may be that whom you gravitate toward, understand that people are, they're, it's human, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And I think everybody needs human connection. Everyone needs a mm -hmm. human um, friendships. Everyone mm -hmm. needs a hug. Mm -hmm. And especially during these times, we never know what the other person is going through. Right. And just everyone's going through something. Just be kind. Oh, I think about that all the time. Mm -hmm. I try to tell the kids every morning, you know, go shine your light and just be kind. Just be kind. Just be kind. Even to the kids that are rude or, or whatever might be going on. Or these mm -hmm. people that are in, there's a nursing home close to the kids' school. And every holiday, they usually go over and do like a singing or something. Oh, but wow. I always think there's so many people mm -hmm. that cannot travel, that can't yes. leave, that can't be with somebody that loves them. Right. And that can be such a, a you know, we were talking on our coaching last week about depression and mm -hmm. the fact that. You know, when you're pushing for goals and you're working towards things mm -hmm. um, at the end of the year, how difficult it is, but also how um, this time of year is the highest for that because people do feel oh, yes. lonely or lost or maybe they have lost someone recently sure. or that's a holiday reminds them of that. 
and I just think at the end of the day, all we can do is bring love and, into this world and to be kind to people mm -hmm. and grateful. And it's you made a great point. You can only be grateful when you, what did you say exactly? It's about to understand and empathize and to be grateful. You've got to recognize that. You have to understand that. Mm -hmm. How, what did you say exactly? Um, when sometimes, is it? Oh, it was just around friendship. It was just, you were saying something about in order to extend grace and gratefulness and to mm -hmm. be loving to others, you have to be accepting of that too. And you have to like live it and breathe it and talk about it. And eventually you believe it. It's not necessarily about believing it. Right. It's like, I'm thankful today for my friend. I'm thankful today that my mom is healthy. I'm mm -hmm. thankful today, X, Y, and Z. Like I'm thankful that I woke up today. Oh yes. I'm thankful that it's, su it's sunny outside. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes it's just like recognizing those things so that you can get through the hard times. Oh gosh. Like, and I, because of that specifically, we we're talking about, and you know, I lost my father around this time last year mm -hmm. <clears throat> and going through that first holiday season without mm -hmm. him and then recognizing what it was like before and like mm -hmm. how it is now and understanding that we, we, it's all part of this life cycle. Is it, it's nothing that we can avoid mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like, it's like the only way to go through it is to go through it. Mm -hmm. And I love that part of like, accepting and understanding where you are today mm -hmm. and finding the gratitude in that and that can be so hard so hard so hard when there's so much pressure or sadness because you're going without or something is going on in your mm -hmm. life and it's and it can so mask easy that. Mm -hmm. yeah. so easy to fall into that like but you know the coulda woulda shoulda is like mm -hmm. oh but you know I, I this is how I was doing this time last year but that's not gonna get me anywhere yeah. or I'm not ending the year hitting those goals or I'm not yes. you know the holiday isn't gonna look like I want it to or I'm not able to travel or I don't have the money to give like I want to all these things can yeah. make you feel less than less than it can make you not see the good mm -hmm. that is in front of us mm -hmm. which you and I we love to show each other that all the time all the time even yeah. those I love that because yeah. sometimes we'll have like because we maybe we don't text it because a lot of I know for mm -hmm. Jordan and I both whether if we write it down it almost as if it gives it life and we don't life. want it right so, so when we see each other we'll finally like, okay this is what's probably <laughs> and you're like just here's all that here's all that and Jordan's yeah. like oh Okay, well, number one, that one wasn't so bad. Number two, you, I could see you like how I give a list. Yeah, Let me see. Okay. right. Go that one. Number two, <laughs> not, not so great. Yeah. Number three, hey, you made up for it from number two and number three, and you helped mm -hmm. me see that. And I yeah. think that's also too what's great about having what do we say a criteria of a friendship, right. loving and supportive. So when you can be around like-minded people that say, hey, maybe yesterday wasn't your be your best day. That's mm -hmm. okay. You got today. Right. You're still able to communicate. You're still able to be here. You're able, you're still able to make better choices today. Right. And not to get new hung chance. up. New chance. It's a new chance. Don't get hung yes. up on all the other stuff. That's that's the tough one. <laughs> Which is human. Well, yeah, it's human. I, I mean, we're our worst critic. We are. Because every time I can say, oh, you know. But it didn't work out. Sorry. No. Sorry, we keep moving this around. You guys, if you could our, see our, what we're working with here. <laughs> we keep moving like this. Like, Earlier. Uh, oh, <laughs> keep tilting. <laughs> It's so this great. Is, we need a behind the scenes. Work. We do make it we work. We make it work. Okay, let me read It's holiday. We got to share this with you Yes, guys. this was great. We shared it this morning. And it, again, it goes back to why and how everyone thinks, well, we've got all this stuff kind of going on. And now I'm about to hit the holidays. And now it's going to be those triggers or those okay. the traumas that have, have been kind of cultural transmission. The lifelong traumas of maybe seeing our family again that we completely avoided mm -hmm. the entire year. And now we've got to see them again. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh gosh, this isn't what I really wanted to do my time right. that's this is just if it happens to be negative so we were thinking of different ways to kind of stay ahead of the game and try to do <laughs> little things yeah <laughs> do prepare and just kind of always keep this in your back pocket it's like you know what kiss keep it simple sis stay on task okay so holiday week is here and it feels like a million happy plans details and recipes or it can be very difficult right mm -hmm. so we're saying it can be really positive or difficult mm -hmm. but kiss keep it simple that's right keep it simple to not overwhelm, let's make many choices each day to help keep your momentum flowing as you take on the world. So little choices, mm -hmm. tiny things that we can be grateful for. So let's make a few good choices with our health. Maybe it's our fitness or maybe it's a light stroll with family after dinner. I love to find something that brings me peace mm -hmm. to start my day, especially during holiday because you can feel overwhelmed or yes. the hurry or you got to take care of everybody. But if you... If I do one thing in the morning for myself, I feel like I'm able to handle all that better. That's great. And you're, cause you're a morning person. Yes. You know? Yes. yes. Very true. Uh, take mindful steps forward in managing our stress and energy levels. Maybe not engaging in that conversation and taking the high road. Take the high road. Woo so if something gets, you know, it's going to be negative, just 
I take the X, that is my, and a lot of times people say, you just avoided that completely. I said, no, it just doesn't fill my cup. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't, I don't, I don't really have a point of reference. I'm, yeah. I just avoid it at, yes. all, at all costs. I'm just like, <laughs> we're not going to go. I'm going to run to the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it doesn't, it's not going to make kids, me laugh. Are they calling my name? <laughs> I know. It's not going to make me laugh. I know it's not. And it's so obvious. Yeah. It's so obvious when there's a conversation that I don't want to be in because I'm just like. <laughs> Y'all, this is. More true than you know. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so Freak. bad. It's so bad. I could just, Mandy? We were just even talking to Jordan. Like, I can't, I don't know how to be fake. I know. And I don't know how to lie. I can't. I and it's so obvious on my face that it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. Because that's what's been the giggle. Because everyone's just like, wow, Mandy just, she's always seemed like she's smiling and laughing. I was like, it's because I like you. <laughs> Cause I really mean it. I mean it. When you, you'll know when I don't. You'll know when I don't. Well, that's See? because being Italian and being Native American, you <laughs> you get it. <laughs> and I've learned you, over the years her so well. You don't even have to say anything. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we're gonna move on to the next thing. <laughs> when you're ready to talk about that one, okay. So number three would be softly take an inventory of what we are allowing our mind to consume each day. So one of the reasons that, and we're talking about maybe social media, TV. Mm -hmm politics, whatever it might be. Okay. So when we started OTG, one of our goals was to create a safe, happy mm -hmm. space and product. Yes. And that's because both of us have had different experiences with social media or mm -hmm. we see it in our children, how it can be such a negative place, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like having the mindset that the world is negative or the world is positive. True. Social media is negative or it's positive, but you can always find good. You can always find the positive mm -hmm. if you look for it. So and if, you, and if you can't find it, create it. Create it. So that's what we did. Yeah. That's what I teach you. That's, that's, that yes, was that's what, And that's what I love. It doesn't matter the religion, the ethnicity, your gender, your uh, sexual orientation, whatever it may be, your political background or affiliation. Like, it, none of it matters. Right. What matters at the end of the day is that being a good human and being a being good a human, human to others. Kindness. Mm -hmm. We can't control everything. What we can mm -hmm. control is loving ourselves and extending that to others and how we re how we react to oh because people are gonna work it's quick because i've had a lot of times people say did you know that such and such doesn't like you i'm like <laughs> <laughs> now i do i kind of like oh great, great news thank you i actually i didn't but man fantastic i can add this one to the list like i just like well, why would someone say something like that i know and so, so of course careful i careful of how you speak too. <laughs> sure. and yeah. I was like, no i didn't but thank you for the information I don't know what, how are you supposed to respond? I know. And we all deal with that. It's difficult. So, so careful just, how you respond. Correct. It's how if you it's respond. not good and kind, why even speak it? That's true. Yes. Yeah. But, but just that I only mention all of that, you guys, Probably. because sometimes people think that we don't get the same thing that everybody oh, else gets in a day. Like, not only do we not get it, I mean, like, do we, <laughs> we get, get it. We get a lot of it. <laughs> and I just want you to know, we hear you. We, we hear see you. you. <laughs> Keep smiling. <laughs> Keep putting on your armor. Keep putting your warrior. armor and just surround yourself with people that do like you. <laughs> Choose wisely. So I have one friend. One. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kind just kidding. Oh, gosh. Hi, Felice. We love you, too. <laughs> Hi, Erica. Felice. Oh, we miss you. We love Erica, you. Erica, that's our sister. We love you. We love you, Erica. We need to hit up with her, by the way. We do. Jonesboro. See, we're going. Did well, we're implement some new travel we are our girls well, 2022 she had goals. red tree in her front yard did you see uh, that yes i commented it's gorgeous. gorgeous that was in your front tree front yard her front yard in jonesboro arkansas jonesboro jonesboro arkansas that's we'll be hitting up arkansas soon okay we'll come see you and okay the next one quiet time which is hard to find that's hard very time very well and when time. is your quiet time so when i stay on track my quiet time is i try to do it it depends but first thing in the morning so mm -hmm. it's either first thing in the morning or I'll listen to something, do my workout, and then I'll come home and do that. Okay. So it kind of depends on the day, but if I don't do it in the morning, it doesn't happen because oh, I, sure. priority, I mean, later in the day, it's like I have the kids, I have, we have work, we have all these things. Right. And so it's harder to say, hey, everybody be quiet so I can have my quiet time. So yes. for me, it's a morning thing and mm -hmm. I'm not much, I'm not a night owl. So no. nighttime, I, that's not my quiet time. It's, that's usually when I'm trying to just kind of mm -hmm. relax for bed. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah. I think mine's in the morning too. Yes, mm -hmm. we love because that. It's still, it's quiet, and no one's yes. around. The house isn't even awake. The puppies are still asleep, yes. and that's just like Rose, oh, <laughs> Rose, Rose, Harriet, Rose, Rose and Steens. <laughs> God, love I'm her. serious. She is getting we have ready two for Monica. Two dogs. She's oh. getting ready for Monica. See, 
And Annie is ready for Christmas. She's ready for Christmas. And they love and appreciate one another. She we does. laugh all the time. Same friends. Because it's 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 the simple. Do you see how it's it goes back to the simple? It's yeah. lo loving and appreciating, learning, and and realizing we're all different, but we all have the same human need of building the inside, building our heart so that we can give to others. Mm -hmm. And you become a magnet of that. Mm -hmm. That's I, I really am a big believer in even our friendship was this magnet of what we wanted in our life and what we wanted it to be and what we mm -hmm. want it to look like for our children. Right. And we can either choose to focus on all the things that go wrong mm -hmm. because we got plenty of those. That's what I mean. I was like, I've seen the other side mm -hmm. and it is hard and, and it's a bad place to live. And hateful and mm -hmm. mean and you never feel good enough. Mm -hmm. And then people are like, did you know you weren't invited to that party? I'm like, no, I didn't know, but thank you for letting me know now. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, none of that is good. No. And it's I don't out it. there. Yes. So yes. we just have to choose. And that comes down for us. It comes down not only to the words, but the people we choose, mm -hmm. how we armor ourselves. If mm -hmm. it's, you know, the quiet time in the morning, mm -hmm. if it's making new friends. Yes. You know, and you even made a great point of, of sitting by somebody new. This yes. weekend, you even did that. I, I did. Mean, I did. And this was so exciting. My hair. This is so exciting. <laughs> we were at, I was at a, a lunch uh, on Saturday and yeah. have, just having pizza, having a good time. And gluten there were pizza, gluten free pizza. Yep. And there were three girls that were there, and each one of them, you know, they were just laughing, having a good time, and 90s music came on. And yeah. so it was like Seal and like, oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. And then Torn, <laughs> oh. Natalie and Brulia. Yeah. So that song came on, and these girls were like, oh my gosh. And just kind of look at her like, you know this song? And I go, I do. And then I queued 90s. in. I know. So I graduated in 95. And like, they for sure are my age. And what was I going to tell you the most refreshing thing? So we live here in Tulsa. You know, you look at your friend social media and you have, you know, over 4,000 friends or whatever. Surely whatever. you've got a mutual friend. Something. And whenever I asked for their name so I could look them up so I could be friends with them because they were so kind. I'm like, I oh my gosh. I did this weekend too, by the way. You new did? New friend, new friend. Keep going. They were, so, they were so great. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, I love being around you guys. You guys are positive, kind, loving, yeah. you laughing. And it just was so great. And I gave them my name and there were no mutual friends. It's a good feeling. I was like, yes. We can be friends. We can be, be friends. friends. I love clean that. Clean slate. Yes. Yes. I yeah. know. I love and I that just thought, too. wow, we're and you're like, yeah, we're in the outskirts of Tulsa. I'm like, my goodness, if you guys are ever in town, let me know. I'd love to meet up for another slice of pizza sometime. See, I love that. Mm -hmm. And you spread that love and kindness yeah. to someone else. They were just I did that at the airport when I was traveling back. You I was did? in line. Oh yeah, I was in line and met a girl. She liked my sweatshirt. And, really? Uh -huh, she's in our group. And we just got to talking and yeah, it's funny. It's just funny when you just open up a little bit to someone mm -hmm. next to you. Because you never know if they need that kindness. That's so true. Like complimenting them and yeah. just saying, I think that's how it started. It was. I, I complimented her and then she turned around and we started talking and became friends. I love that. We were waiting in line forever for some food and yeah. You see? see? It's like the little yeah. things. Those it are the little things that make little you. things. Mm -hmm. It's the simple things that Those are the things lives. that I wake up the next morning and going, wow, yesterday was a success. Mm -hmm. I met someone new. So they all of, yeah, their girlfriends were super fun. We yeah. just giggled over songs and reminisced on times of before <laughs> social media. Like it's hard to have those oh, conversations with music people. Too. Like I when know. you think about a time in your life, it, it kind of it takes you back to high school. Yes. Or it takes you back. You're like, oh my gosh. I guess like the that. lake days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I I haven't thought that. of that one in a while. I love that. I know. Though. Music too. is the best for that mm -hmm. nostalgia feeling. But this week we have a busy Thanksgiving week. We've seen family, we which do. busy but slow, right? Yes. Yeah. I packed, I'm packing my, All your my gear. gear. I love it. And <laughs> no, I'm staying funny. here in Tulsa. You are. Yes, with some fun family. I and we get it. to all get together. I and it's going it. to be such a good time. Harriet's even invited. So are you cooking? Yes. Tr traditional turkey is so. Kind of. I'm doing gluten free. Doing? I'm doing the gluten free stuffing. Okay. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. What did you do last year at my house? You did. Oh, you did the. Uh, Broccoli cheese rice casserole. I, I did. Is that right? Yes. Yes. It was so good. I forgot about that. That's a good one you could do this year too. I could totally do that. It's my favorite. Yeah. It's so creamy and cheesy and yummy. I love Shoot. That. Okay. That's I'll do that one. Okay. Like so I'll do the, the gluten-free stuffing and then I'll do the broccoli and cheese casserole. Okay. Well, I'm doing pickle tray, relish okay. tray, like all the little, maybe some cheese on there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm doing double eggs. I love it. I so love you guys, whatever Dude, you are up. making for <laughs> holiday, let us know so we can have some great ideas because maybe you guys are making something that we completely forgot about. Like I just now remembered yes. broccoli cheese. So I guess I got to add that one to the list. Last year since I hosted, I did the bigger stuff. So this year is That's place. true. I'm so excited. It's so good. I'm like, so good. And I love your family. I so much we're gonna fun. Have, we're going to have the best time. You guys do. The cousins and Josh and Kelly and I just love it. I'm so happy for you. We'll see if they all... <laughs>
fight like last yeah. year. Yeah, they're have supposed the to. Sisterly, brotherly fun. They're or? supposed to. <laughs> that's part of that's the memories. Those oh, are the it's, memories. It cracks me. <laughs> I love it. I, you gotta love somebody to fight with them, right? Of course. See, I, love, I, think, I think so. I agree. I know. <laughs> okay, guys, we all have a great Thanksgiving or Turkey Week. Turkey Week, Turkey Friendship, Friendship Week, Friendship and again, week. think it. We call it keep it simple, sis. So anytime yeah. you're in that moment, just stay on task. Mm -hmm. Think of something that you could do that could either change, make the conversation pivot, keep it positive, maybe go for that extra after you, you've eaten, just take a little walk outside, you know, with yep. your family and just kind of get that blood going and yep. flowing and have start over. And start, yeah, <laughs> go in for your other, your next glass of wine. That's <laughs> when in doubt, with the oh my gosh, also the funniest gift about, I know what I'm bringing to Thanksgiving. It's yep. going to be the best. It's going to be everyone's favorite uh, piece of the part of the meal. And it was a glass of wine. Oh my gosh. So I texted Kelly and I said, I know what I'm bringing. <laughs> She's like, I already got it. I know. Sometimes Perfect. a little lubricant is always great. You know, it just keeps the family conversation going. Flowing. You know? Flowing. Totally flowing. I love it. Okay, we love you guys. Y'all have a great week. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>